Hi friends, Rasen here. I have just finished printing a tea coaster to my table. So print out came very good and beautiful. And as you can see, this is a multicolor print with dual extruder setup. So and today we are going to discuss or compare two very common extruders which are familiar to you I believe one is from Bontec and the from Orbiter extruder it's made by LD only so you can see this on the left is from Bontec it's a LGX light extruder and as the name I just got a large gear extruder you can find a large gear which will push the filaments and the other hand side this is a orbiter extruder and it's got a orbiter reduction gear reduction system for converting the torque so that's why they are called orbiter extruder and this is manufactured by LDO and you can see both are powered by LDO's pancake motor both motor are same only and both got 200 steps per mm when it comes to build quality I will say LGX light is SLS printed I believe it is nylon only and orbiter extruder is injection molded obviously that should also be nylon so they can withstand high temperatures comparatively Bontag is very beautiful and orbiter is a bit robust in comparison and next when we compare the performance from my experience I found orbiter stroller or perform LGX a little bit but if you are considered printing up to 250-300 mms per second it's almost 6000-7000 acceleration it's really does not matter both performs almost the same way the next thing is from an end user side one of the important thing loading and unloading the filament we can see LGS from Bontech first introduced this lever mechanism this is a three position lever one for unloading the filament and one for depend on filament you can change the position to got three position whereas orbiter got a common spring loaded lever which pushes the secondary gear towards the first one so I found loading and unloading of the filament on LGX light is very easy and comfortable and this lever is pretension to different filaments condition like for TPU you can go for third position and for normal filaments you can use second position and for unloading you can go for first position so it made the job very easy whereas LDO is a bit tricky and sometimes give trouble while loading the filament it uses to get stuck inside you can see I will share a photo uh, sometimes it gets stuck 
uh, in between so sometimes you have to uh, comes a bit tricky to load it uh, but overall it's okay but if I say bone tech mechanic so this three lever mechanism made this loading and very easy in just two clicks it loads uh, these filaments and next let's move to mounting how we can mount this extruders to the build, build plate sorry not build plate the tool head even though bone tech made it very beautiful and it's a very compact design and you can see there is a mounting mechanism on the side also but i've never found this useful uh, other hand it got screws to mount this extruder on plate on the bottom so it is a bit tricky uh, once the hot end is fitted we cannot access that bolt so we have to first install the extruder and we have to install the hot end on a sliding system on a plate maybe on a plate and you have to slide it on that uh, to the tool head or you have to install it on a plate and the as i did you have to use a separate two screws to mount it on the build plate so it is a bit tricky here but LDO even though it is a bit uh, bigger in size and consumes a bit more mounting area mounting this extruder is very easy uh, you can uh, remove or mount this extruder to the tooth uh, sorry tool head while your hot end is already mounted so i found this very easy and this very very rare case that you have to open a extruder uh, once you install it that will continue running maybe uh, i mounted it this bond deck and i'm using it for more than one year it's just performing good and i have no complaints yet but in comparison mounting un and unmounting the extruder to the uh, to, uh, tool head is a bit easier for orbiter then if we talk about some more things to compare which is not directly related but again sometimes it comes handy uh, for Bontac extruder it is a bit easy to clean the filament of the gears in case uh, the filament was struck and it uh, what's a stick on the gear or something like that and you can visualize the movement of gear from our side so if any doubt that filament is not coming out and you can check, want to check whether the astrode is uh, working it's a bit easy for the case of ldo uh, this uh, orbit extruder there is no way you can clean the uh, filament of the gear until you dismantle it one gear is accessible from outside once you open it and on the, to reaching the second gear is tricky and difficult sometimes you may have to open it and uh, even though you can see the movement uh, but it is i found a bit difficult to uh, confirm whether it is moving especially when the head is moving here and there right? you may have to put a dot or something using a mark or something uh, and you can visualize the movement but overall the design uh, i found lgx uh, sorry one tech uh, did it very good and one more thing the worth mentioning is the availability and price obviously LTO is a bit less expensive compared to Bondex LGX 
maybe these uh, bonding LGs are SLS printed. If they also go for injection molding, they can even sell it on the same price, I believe, because there is no much difference. Second thing is, here in India, it is very difficult to find one. I was lucky that I got this, but and it is very difficult to find these extruders here in India. And then again, when it comes to if you got any gears or anything got broken, you will be searching here and there, but you should be lucky enough to get its spare parts here in India. Uh, maybe you can approach Bontag directly, but sometimes uh, the shipping cost, everything with that cost, you may purchase one so second this LDO motor. So if this can be available in market very easy then okay it's one good only and again as i mentioned this ldo this uh, orbital store is big bigger bit bigger sorry bit bigger in overall dimension and when it comes to lengthwise and widthwise you can see here it's a bit bigger so if you want to build a very compact head Obviously, you can go for this Bontech LGX and this performs good only. But that's not a consideration. And for my printer, if I say uh, it is, it got a 420 uh, mm x-axis movement. So, and I am planning for only six heads for now. So, it's not a big issue. Uh, for this big printer, uh, I can easily mount six of them sorry six of them so for my case the space it cover uh, it required for mounting on two head it's not a big deal so that is all for now and I, after continue using if i found any trouble i will obviously share on this video sorry on not this on the video on another videos so and if you got any doubts or queries you can put it on comments and obviously i will reply and if you found this video useful kindly consider give a thumbs up and subscribe and if possible to try to share with your friends also so thank you